data source. Experience Builder provides unified data management, so data is available to all widgets. Moreover, you can see connections between layers, widgets, and fields, and set auto-refresh intervals to pick up changes in the data. A data source may have four views, three built-in and one data view. Understanding them will help you choose the right data source view to connect with. You may use the option of view for empty selection to configure which feature to show when there is no selection yet. Data view is a subset of data source you can create through filtering and sorting. You may use data view to pre-process data or prevent widgets from interfering with each other. Here comes the demo. In this demo, we're going to focus on creating dynamic data views in Experience Builder. Data views enable you to create custom perspectives of your data based off sorting, filtering, or other options. In this application, we've already set up our widgets, and we're going to want to configure a couple of data views to ensure that this application is always appealing and usable to our end users immediately upon being opened. To start, we'll go into our data sources and create our first view for our places of interest layer. In this case, we'll go ahead and sort based off of the URL field, which contains a link to a live webcam that we can use in our embed widget. Then we'll select view for empty selection and go ahead and sort off the photo field. Now, this also ensures that our dynamic image is populated immediately upon the application being open, ensuring that there's always something to catch our users at eye when they come in. Now we'll go ahead and connect our list to our national parks data and to our data view one that we've configured. Then we'll go ahead and connect our embed widget to our, to our national parks location and to the attribute URL. Noting that the webcam will automatically come up since we've connected it to a specific data view. We'll go ahead and save and preview our application. And now when it loads, we're immediately greeted with a, UR, a webcam for Lake McDonald. And if we click on each one, we'll go ahead and see the corresponding webcam and image for that given, for that given location, ensuring that even when the application opens and every time it's selected, we're creating an engaging experience for our users. Great. In addition to the data that you manually add to the app, query and the chart can generate a new output feature layer at runtime, which can be used by other widgets like table, text, etc. by simply selecting them under the Outputs tab. Another important aspect of data source is dynamic content. You can dynamically display attribute, values, statistics, or expressions from a feature layer using widgets like text, button, image, etc. An example is that you have a feature layer that contains URLs to websites, and you want to use a button as a link to open the website associated with a selected feature. The diagram illustrates the steps to create a dynamic link button and link text. You can also display feature count or other statistics and use the expression editor to combine all together. Here comes the demo. For this demo, we're going to focus on how to create dynamic content based off your data. If you remember in the previous demonstration on data views, we were able to dynamically link to different embedded webcams and images 
using our attribute in the places of interest feature class that we have. Now this time, we're going to link out to web pages that contain additional information on these places of interest, as well as enable you to view it live on a webcam in a new tab based off the selected feature. Here, we've already configured a list with our place of interest, and now we'll add a button to link to our website of interest. We'll configure the button a bit to match the rest of our application and connect it to data. In this case, we'll connect it to our Glacier National Park's point of interest, and we'll set the link to be a web address based off of an attribute, which is gonna be our website URL. And we'll go ahead and change the text to learn more so it's informative about what you're gonna do when you click on the button. Next, we'll go ahead and use a text widget and add that in to essentially enable users to click on the text to link out to a live webcam showing that location um, on a new tab. Here, we'll add the text, view it live, and we'll go ahead and resize the text to be a bit larger and also a bit darker and blue to match the rest of our application. Finally, we'll go ahead and add in a link. And since when we have the data, we'll then link to a new web address. In this case, we'll use the attribute URL and go ahead and link to our webcam. We'll save our application. And now when we preview our application and we select a location, for example, Lake McDonald Lodge, and we click Learn More, it'll link us out to a web page with additional information, as well as give us a webcam from that area. And the same thing will happen when we click the headquarters building. We'll view the visitor center and the webcam associated with that location. And the same would go if we clicked on any other location within our feature service, that it would link to the corresponding website and webcam to that location. Thank you.